from the standpoint of a person who is an over of brahman this our thinking of ourselves to be a person who has some qualification or some kind of wisdom or a person who has some kind of wealth is ridiculous why am i saying this because this would help us in practicing the remembrance of the unreality of this world because it is such a thing which we have taken for granted that we cannot even understand it so to understand it we have to understand it from our own terms and what are the terms these are the terms suppose you have say uh, ford and somebody comes and tells you that do you have cycle so that kind of so immediately you feel are what are you saying i have i have got four. you may not even reply to that person because you feel that oh this person is coming and has the temerity to ask me whether i know english i am i am so well versed i read so much so you see when there is a concept about yourself which is so deeply ingrained somebody coming and challenging that concept you don't if the challenge is at a very trivial level you don't even bother to respond to that person so similarly but then what are we doing our true nature is we are consciousness in fact there is no we there is only consciousness but we have created distinctions in that so that is why i am again and again saying that from this perspective if you see you will understand what a blunder it this is but the problem is that this blunder is going on since beginningless time and so nobody has told us that this is a blunder when swami ji went to the west and he said amritasya putraha e children of heirs of immortal bliss they were all astounded surprised they said nobody said these things to us we were always hearing sinners 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 so the point is whenever he, whenever somebody is exposed to vedanta these truths of vedanta in their full glory and full strength then the first question which comes in our mind is nobody told this we have never been told this we have always been told you are weak you cannot do this you cannot do that nobody told us that we are not the body we are not the mind that we have tremendous potential inside us so why because we think i am man i am woman or i am a transgender you think that i am a person who belongs to uttar pradesh i am a person who belongs to andhra pradesh i am a person who belongs to pennsylvania you think that i am tall i am short i am stout i am thin i am fair i am unfair hmm. so fair means unfair no not dark fair unfair everything you think uh, but all these are wrong perceptions so that is why loka vyavahara hai that means all different notions about ourselves about the environment in which we live are all such notions which are based on the superimposition so not only that the superimposition is there the superimposition is emphasized over and again by these pronouncements of superimposition so a person fails is not a big problem <laughs> again and again that person is rem- reminded that that person is has failed oh you are good for nothing oh you could not pass this examination so failure in itself can be managed but this so here also superimposition in itself also could i have been come out of but again and again that ingraining of that superimposition makes it all the more deep and why this happens shankaracharya gives us the um, the uh, reason this happens because of atyanta viviktayo means itare tara avivekena because of non discernment because of non discernment and also it happens because of mithya jnana nimittam it happens because of illusory mithya jnana nimitta hai illusory cognition wrong knowledge wrong knowledge false knowledge it happens because of that because you think that something that does not exist exists you think that something which is non existent is existing and you think that something which is existing is non existent 
सो नो बडी हैज सीन दैट तत् तम असी तम तत् असी मीन्स यू आर दैट दैट मीन्स दी अल्टीमेट रियालिटी नो बडी हैज सीन दैट अल्टीमेट रियालिटी और हैज नॉट गॉट द एक्सपीरियंस ऑफ दिट अल्टीमेट रियालिटी नो बडी मीन्स इन जनरल पीपल हैव सीन ऋषीज हैव सीन but in general we have not seen what are we seeing we are only seeing tvam we are only seeing that which is unreal so our all our transactions all our transactions vyavahara is with that which is unreal we are seeing unreal body we are seeing unreal mind everything unreal we are transacting with the unreal so loka vyavahara the transactions are all with the unreal and we are not transacting with the real we are getting away and away from the real so we are superimposing the unreal on the real we are superimposing the non existent on the existing only existence and this is because of this lack of discernment and this is atyanta vivikta this is so clear so clear what is clear that the unreal and real are not identical it is very clear so it is in sanskrit called a tadatmya tadatmya means identical in this context identical so a tadatmya the body and mind and all the universe which we see are totally not identical with brahman this is the reality this is very distinct but we are not able to see that and also you see the attributes of the non reality the attributes of the thing which has been superimposed is so different that there can be no confusion so there there can be no confusion that these are identical the real and the unreal are not identical how are they different so in sanskrit they are called asankirnata means there is non confusion sankirnata means confusion and asankirnata means non confusion so a tadatmya non identity and asankirnata non confusion so we know they are so distinct atyanta vivikta they are so distinct irrespective of their despite their being distinct irrespective of their being distinct we have superimposition nonetheless we have superimposition nonetheless so this is the problem this is the problem this is a problem which we have to deal with now here you see this all started with a objection that superimposition does not exist does not exist and why did that objection come yushmad asmat pratyaya so because of the concepts of yushmad asmat you and asmat i you and i this came with the concept of notions of you and i so the idea was that the concept of you is the object which is not the self anatma and the concept of i is the subject which is the self so because this asmat pratyaya gochara that which is signified by that which is signified by i is self atman and the subject yushmat pratyaya gochara that which is signified by the word yushmat or you is the object and not self anatma this was the idea and so they are diametrically opposite there cannot be any similarity among them so that has been now quashed by shankaracharya saying what saying that you see here the problem is not mistaking of the subject with the object no here the problem is not that subject is mistaken with the object or the object is mistaken with the subject or the attributes of the subject or object are being mistaken with one another the attributes of the other this is that is not the problem the problem is that something is superimposed on something you see adhyasa is not mistaking it is superimposing something on something else 
they are two different things so it is it is not that we are mistaking that i saw from a distance and i mistook you for somebody else etc no it is seeing because of wrongly because of superimposition you have superimposed this on that so here again you see why that happens because there is something called locus so where an attribute should be instead of seeing that attribute there we are seeing the attribute on something where that attribute is not there you see so a paper is moving paper is not moving how can paper move either because of wind or because of rat or because of squirrel nowadays squirrels are also eating wires so because of squirrel maybe paper is moving but you have attributed the motion of the squirrel on the paper the attribute of motion you have put on paper are you understanding so the locus or the place where the motion is there is not paper it is squirrel or mouse or whatever but you have taken it from there and put it on this similarly you have taken the attribute of consciousness and put it on the body you are saying body is conscious body cannot be conscious so here the confusion the goal mal or the gondogol or the confusion is because of confusing not mistaking one for another but in fact superimposing one on another so you are not mistaking consciousness for inert thing you are not saying that oh just like that example was given light and darkness you are not saying that light is dark or dark is light you are not saying that you know that light is light and dark is dark but instead of thinking that instead of knowing that light is coming from sun you are thinking light is coming from some other source means in daylight you are thinking that the reflector is the light reflector is not the source of light sun is the source of light but you are thinking that the reflector is the source of light similarly just like we mistake something moving to have motion by itself not going to the whatever force is moving it similarly here you are mistaking the attributes of the super impo uh, the thing on which it is superimposed with the attributes of the superimposed so snake can move but rope cannot move in that example it is little opposite rope cannot move but you are superimposing the attributes of motion of snake on the rope which is not moving and which does not have life also so and also because of that what has happened so the first thing is that swarupa what is the nature of adhyasa the swarupa of nature of adhyasa is to superimpose on one another the nature of the other so a's nature is superimposed on b b's nature is superimposed on a and superimposing the attributes of a on b and the attributes of b on a that is adhyasa this is the swarupa of adhyasa this is the nature of adhyasa you have to understand what is adhyasa adhyasa is superimposing one on the other as well as the attributes of one on the attributes of other and vice versa this is adhyasa this is called swarupa or the nature of adhyasa then there is nimitta the cause of adhyasa so it is very clearly told itara itara avivekena it is because of the non discernment non discrimination of one another you have confused what is the superimposed what is the superimposing thing what is that which is superimposing and what that what, what is that which is superimposed upon so when you get confused that is itare itara aviveka and also of the attributes 
you are getting confused not only because of the because of the uh, nature of the superimposed on the superimposed but also the attributes of one another so you are getting confused because you don't know the discrimination you have no discriminative faculty you don't have any discerning faculty then also you are seeing false knowledge mithya jnana nimittam nimittah false knowledge so these are the nimitta cause of adhyasa and what is the phala what is the result the result is the naisargika loka vyavahara naisargika means natural natural means beginningless loka vyavahara expressions of people in this world that aham idam mama idam i am this this is mine this is my house this is my mobile phone this is my computer etc etc this is my email id so we have to change according to so after some days it will become virtual avatar now, now people they seldom talk to one another but they text one another so like that so it will all become very virtual the question is then how will do people do spiritual practices will they virtually get brahma gyana <laughs> and practically not get anyway so these are the things so now we understand that there is something called swarupa of adhyasa nature of adhyasa then there is the cause of adhyasa why the superimposition comes into place and then there is the phala or the result or the effect of adhyasa that is we express this adhyasa express different feelings based on this mutual superimposition of the self on the not self of atma on anatma and anatma on atma mutual superimposition and so by proving this or showing this shankaracharya has told that it is not that superimposition does not exist in fact it is something which cannot be denied which is very much there which is very much there so we cannot deny that so your objection that how can one be superimposed on another is proven to be wrong because it is very much there and we do see it all the time om shanti 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 hari om tat sat